Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another of the Sega Dinosaur King figures, and this one is the Shantungasaurus. Again, like I had stated in my Yanxuanosaurus review from this line, if you happen to watch that review, it is very cool that in this line, there are so many obscure species like a Shantungasaurus. For example, you don't really see Git figures very often, so it's one of the really appealing aspects, I think, of the line is that they don't just produce regular dinosaur figures, they produce more obscure species, which is really, really cool. I've never actually watched the show, my son was definitely a big fan of it, so it's kind of shocking that I've never actually sat down and watched it, but it didn't really seem like something I was ever interested in, but if the show actually includes very obscure species like this, I'll definitely have to check it out at some point very soon. But regardless, this Shantungasaurus is very cool looking, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So taking a look at the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt does sport some pretty nice detailing up here on the face. You've got the nostrils sculpted out up there, some fairly nice sculpt around the eye area in the eye socket. However, the eye is painted with just a yellowish coloration, and I don't really like that. The fact that they don't really include pupils on any of these figures that I've seen so far kind of makes them sometimes look like they're a little bit of a zombie and that's definitely the appearance that this one has it almost looks a little possessed so I feel like if they would have given it more of a pupil on a lot of the figures it really would have helped them look a little better but considering the size of the eye the pupil would have been extremely small but either way I really think that a pupil on this would have definitely made it look a good bit better. The body color of the figure is almost like a pinkish type of a coloration so I'm not a huge fan of the paint scheme on this one. I actually quite like the Anxuanosaurus paint scheme, but this one I don't really like. I also really don't like this area where there's kind of like a star effect down the side of the figure. I don't know if that's something that was in the show that played into the show, but as far as a Shantungasaurus paint scheme goes, I really don't like it very much. But if we take a look up here at the mouth, you can see the tongue is sculpted out in there. You've got the beak painted with a nice blackish coloration, and it does have a bit of a gloss coat there on that area as well. Once you get back here into the upper side of the head, you can see that there's ridges that run along the spinal column, and it picks up with like a purplish coloration here on the upper part of the dinosaur on the upper part of the spine. You can also see these purplish spots that start to pick up. Actually, they may be more of like a dark blue, but as you move down the neck, you can see lots of really nice creasing in the neck right there as we lead down into the shoulder area. You can't really see the shoulder blade or anything, and again, the figures are like your basic example of a dinosaur. However, this one does actually sport a little more detailing on it than the Yangshuanosaurus did, because you can see areas like right here and right here that do have skin folding and skin wrinkling going on, so I feel like this sculpt is a good bit better than what we saw in the Yangshuanosaurus. Moving down here into the front limb, you can actually see some really nice sculpt in detail the whole way down beautiful hand sculpt really nicely painted nails with a black coloration and given a very nice gloss coat to them so they shine quite realistically coming back up into the stomach again you can see some pretty nice detailing going on a little bit of skin folding going on right here sort of showing movement here in this front limb as well as back here which again was one of the things that the Yanxuanosaurus was missing and I feel like they definitely have pulled it off much nicer in this figure pretty nice scaling you still don't have things like the rib cage or anything but I feel like this one regardless does look quite a bit better than the Yanxuanosaurus did you also have some nice muscle definition there nice scaling as we move down the thigh and calf very nicely elaborated calf muscles you do have the kneecap present right there in the front of the leg Nice foot sculpt here in the rear foot with the, again, nicely painted nails with that blackish coloration. Beautifully glossed. Again, the really nice detailing right there. I really love things like this, so it was sad to see that kind of stuff skimped out on one that came to the Yanxuanosaurus, but picked up here on this one. You can see the tail is uh, not perfectly placed here. It's not perfectly connected, and that is a little bit of a downside. I feel like that could have been done a little better, but it's not the end of the world. As we move out that very nice, very thick tail coming out to the tip, you can see some pretty nice sculpt and detail the entire way out. Nothing over the top. The underside doesn't really sport that much sculpt and detail, but what is there does look pretty nice. I really like that as well. It just could have been a little better. But the figure itself is definitely going to look pretty much the same on this side as we saw on the previous side because just like the Anxuanosaurus, the pose is pretty much neutral so there isn't really much of anything different on this side than what we saw 
on the other side, but it does look really quite cool on both sides for sure. The paint scheme looks all right. I don't like how solid this kind of stripe is where the pinkish coloration and then the light underbelly kind of combine. It's very solid the whole way. It's not a smooth transition. It does look okay. It's just that I feel like the transition isn't really there and the way it's been painted is so solid it just takes away from the figure a little bit but that's not exactly something that could be out of the realm of possibility as far as what an animal could look like and you can see that they can blend the colors really nicely because the transition between that pinkish coloration down into the foot where it again transitions into a similar color to the underbelly does look quite nice nice and smooth very realistic same deal over here so I feel like the way that this is applied was done on purpose. The coloration isn't really that great. Again, wouldn't have been my first choice, that's for sure, but at the same time, it's not the worst. I just really don't like this kind of weird detail, this kind of star type effect that runs down the side of the animal, but other than that, I think it looks okay. As far as articulation on our Shantungasaurus goes, we've got articulation here at the shoulder, we have articulation at the hip, and that's it. Shockingly, I expected there to be like a swivel on the tail, and if there is, mine doesn't do it. It's very stiff, stays totally still. So that is a little bit of a downside for this figure as far as having less articulation than we had on the Yangshuanosaurus, but at the same time, I think it still is decent as far as the articulation goes. For a size, from the head to the tail, you are seeing this come in at pretty much about 10 inches, or about 25 and a half centimeters. And for a height, the highest point is going to be the back, about four and a quarter inches, or around 11 centimeters, somewhere in that range. And for the head, about three and a quarter inches, or about eight and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex Robert Muldoon in the attack pack, Colovasaurus once again proving that these Dino King figures, the Dinosaur King figures, are in the medium size range. And this one follows pretty much the same trend. I believe they're all in that very same similar style, or at least the ones that I have are. There may be larger ones out there that I don't own yet, but as far as the ones that I do have, they all follow that same similar mid-sized range of dinosaur figure. So this Sega Dinosaur King Shantungasaurus is quite nice. It's not the best Shantungasaurus you're ever going to find, that's for sure. But how many figures do you really have out there to choose from for this species? Not very many. So the fact that the Dinosaur King line does include a Shantungasaurus is very exciting, if you ask me. I really do quite love how many obscure species they include into the line and this being one of them. And the figure overall isn't that bad at all. The detailing is pretty nice. The uh, sculpt isn't terrible, that's for sure. There are areas that could have been better, but considering they all have the same style, the same kind of charm of being more of like a basic version of a dinosaur figure, it's sort of one of the reasons why I like them, and I think that it's definitely quite appealing, the overall appearance of the figures, and how they always seem to come in like a neutral position is also really quite cool. It's pretty much like a profile shot for one of these dinosaurs. The paint job, however, is probably the least likable aspect of this figure, because personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I think that the pinkish type of a coloration the light underbelly and the purple is okay. I'm not a big fan of the pink. I think the pink could have been changed to a more realistic tone of color. However, we can let that slide. It looks okay in comparison to the rest of the body. The kind of like star effect that runs down the length of the dinosaur, I really, really do not like. I absolutely hate that part of the figure. But aside from that, I think it looks decent as far as the paint goes. Not as cool as the Yangshuanosaurus, but not terrible either. And the only other real downside to the figure is that there is a little bit less articulation in this one than we saw in the Yangshuanosaurus, as the other one had a tail that did articulate, this one does not. But other than that, it's still a pretty cool figure, so if you do want to pick this up, I will try to find a link on eBay to where you can purchase it. It's probably going to be a little bit pricier, as these are not too readily available nowadays, but if you can find one, make sure you pick it up. Again, I'll try to find a link, but if I can't, then maybe you'll find one at some point, stumble across it at some point. And if you do, it's not a bad figure, definitely worth a pickup. Especially if you're on the lookout for a Shantungasaurus, as there aren't many figures out there, again, as I've said before, of this species. So, hopefully you do find this at some point, and also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.